This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Before taking any action based on the information provided on this channel, it is recommended that you seek the advice of a professional licensed financial advisor. Let's do this. All right, welcome back, guys. It is technical analysis quickly time, and I'm going to dive right into the charts. All right, so this is Bitcoin on the daily. Well, actually, I suppose first. If you've been around the channel since the beginning, you'll be living a first where I haven't posted a video in a couple of days. I've had a lot going on here at the house, not the least of which is trying to get my office ready so it's more conducive for recording. Uh, but without further ado here, I don't want to drag this out any longer. I'm just going to dive right in. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart. This is the giant wedge we've been in since back here on June 18th. And as you can see, we've come down and hit right on that mark because we got a hit, 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 and hit but it's been caught so i'm going to go because it's got support now by this same line that's creating the bottom of the wedge and i'm going to jump over to my slightly more overwhelming chart with all my grid lines in it and what do we have going on here what else could be responsible for this turnaround well we are currently in oversold territory on the daily and that's probably going to continue up through the two day you have three day four day not quite yet on the four day Okay, so we're oversold, which isn't shocking after the, you know, 8% meltdown that we had here. What exactly was that? Oh, 10.17%. And then it turned around and went back up a little bit. You can also see here on the Fibonacci circles that it hit a Fibonacci circle and turned around and went back up. So that's another level of support. And you can see further that it looks like We've come up and we've hit another Fibonacci line and we're just kind of waiting around here. Let's zoom out a bit on the one hour see what we got. Yep, it's riding right up that line. Came up, hit it, rejected, came back down, and now it's working its way back up to hit it again. You can see on the one hour that we're respecting the Bollinger Bands, these black lines on the outside. And then the three hour... We're still working on coming back together. So this is just the consolidation after the major move it made. Four hour, five hour, six hour. You have just more consolidation. But here's the seven hour. If we look at what's going on from a channel standpoint, you know, once it came up here and hit this line up at the top and got rejected, we started moving down this yellow channel. So we got a, our first hit second hit third hit fourth hit which is right here and now we could be making our way up over to the other side of the yellow now this is going to be a long move but if you look at the bollinger band as this is going to come around like this and this is going to come around like this this could come over here while well, this kind of comes down and it comes over and then the candles work their way up through this before it makes another big move. So it could easily come out this side. And this could be three or four days away before it starts another move, which to me, I think it'll be the downside. So there's a little upside action to be had here if it works out the way that I'm thinking. Uh, you've also got, if you zoom out to the daily on this chart, I noticed up here, what caused the turnaround? Well, not only was it kind of running out of steam and momentum and so on, but I disagree with these people that are running around talking about the Fed ended the Bitcoin run. I, the, I, don't, I don't even know what the Fed did. So, but looking at the charts, you can see why it ended. We've got a Fibonacci circle. We've got this Fibonacci circle. We've got this Fibonacci line. And we've got this Fibonacci line. And it all culminated right here on this candle. So it hit so much resistance that it would have it would have needed a lot of volume to break through that. Not to mention we had the Ichimoku cloud that was, uh, you know, calling the, or the Kijin that was calling it back down to the Kijin, which we hit pretty quickly. Uh, and then, as I was saying at the time, you worked your way down this line. So it got rejected four times on this line. And then thrust down below this line where it got rejected again right here. And then it just fell, caught by the circle. Blew right through this circle though. 
and now it's coming back up and catching this line. So these the Fibonacci channels I've got drawn and the Fibonacci circles are very accurate. The price is very much respecting it. I mean, you can see here it came down, hit the circle, came down, hit the circle. Um, you can see here it tried to get through that circle, failed four times. Tried to get through this circle, the well, two circles right there rejected. That's that's that giant upside down hammer we were talking about when it happened. Um, what else here? Nothing right off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I've just been noticing how how well these lines have been respected. If I drop down to the two hour chart just to see more candles here. You can see that we're within we're in this purple wedge that's actually within the yellow wedge so we had a hit here which is off the yellow line and then it stopped there here's three there's four and now it's kind of worked its way down it never it did not hit the purple line here and now it's working its way back over so we're currently in a new several new patterns actually because you can see that we jumped into this green one here worked our way out of there so we got our one two three four and then it came swooping down didn't hit and broke out and then we had a four in the orange but i'd have to zoom out to like the 15 minute chart for you to see that and now we're in this sideways one so i'm not really sure what to expect at this point but i'd have to jump down to like the three minute to see what we got going on in that side that new side channel well one it could be something like this So maybe this needs to turn around here. You can't tell by the three minute. What about the 15? Nothing on the cloud. Nothing on the cloud. On the one hour. Nothing on the cloud giving us any ideas. We just flipped bullish here. The green over the red. That doesn't really mean anything because it's just started and it's only on the one hour. But it's something to take note of. On the two hour, it looks like we're coming down and we're doing our scoop. We've pulled these candles up into it. So maybe we'll ride this up, possibly even break through it and then get stuck on the, uh, the blue Fibonacci circle. If we get rejected, we could come back down. This could be the little bounce that we have before we come back down and test this yellow wedge bottom of the much bigger wedge that we've been in since June 18th. So it could be something like that where we break out, complete the purple, work our way down, bounce, maybe even another bounce. And that way we've come then through this yellow line and then break down. And then we've got more and more resistance. You know, the more we zoom out here, you'll see that I've got these lines drawn for a while. So as you start to see them come through, you'll see different points of wh where they can get caught. And I'll report back to you where as this stuff unfolds and I'm going to try to do better and I, I the two days off thing was just, I didn't know where my mic was my uh, office was a disaster I could barely even get to my computer just building furniture and stuff like that so my apologies for that but I will be um, you know back on all week as the day progresses if any major moves happen and I'd say the thing to keep your eye on right now is you know look at the two three four hour Bollinger Bands as they as they work on completing in here and completing up here and then they'll probably form some sign of kind of a thinner line like that you know well this one didn't get so thin back here but you get the idea and then as it works its way up through here it might get caught on that ring drop back down hit there might even break through that might be the the second breakthrough which takes us down to this and then we'll be officially broken out of that june 18th wedge and then come down maybe get hit there or because this is almost double because you've got the red fibonacci line plus you've got the blue Fibonacci circle so we may work our way down there but you can see all these like the the rungs of a ladder as we work our way down not that it needs to respect all of them but they're definitely things to look for so that's it for me today guys thanks for watching and have a great day out there